Hello everyone, welcome to my second video tutorial. We are going to make a ink bleed as seen in this video. Okay, let's get started. We're going to make a new composition, so go to composition, new composition, make it uh, the size you want. We're going to call this ink reveal make sure it's black 10 seconds duration and click OK after importing your picture and your paper texture which you can find at the link provided in the description you can now import the paper texture into your composition by dragging it into the timeline. We'll have to size it up to make it fit the composition and find a nice area with a bit of contrast to it. Like this. It's nice to have a little fold in here and some dark and light areas. So I like this. Now we're going to put a tint effect on it. I've already looked it up here but you can just go to color correction and right at the bottom you will find tint drag that onto your paper texture now it's gone completely black and white it doesn't have to be black and white so we're going to set it at 50% amount to tint 50% and there you have it now we're going to make a new solid so go to layer new solid we're going to call this fractal noise make sure it's comp size and black and click OK now we're going to put the fractal noise effect onto this layer so type in fract oops, fractal and there you have it under noise and grain fractal noise drag that onto your solid now set the fractal type to dynamic noise type can stay as it is check the invert button and set the contrast to 176 and the brightness to minus 114 Now we're going to animate the brightness. So click the little stopwatch here for brightness. Make sure your current time indicator is set at the beginning of your comp. Click the stopwatch for brightness. And it will set a keyframe. You can see the keyframe by selecting the layer and typing U on the keyboard. And here it is. Now go forward 6 seconds in time approximately and set the brightness to 24 and now you will see we have an animation if you scrub through the timeline you can see the fractal noise coming on now we need it to be completely white so we're going to set the exposure effect onto the fractal noise layer so type in exposure you can find it under color correction also it's here drag it onto your fractal noise layer and set the exposure to 15 and now you see it's completely white and now if we scrub through the timeline we go from completely black to completely white and that's what we need now to make the edges of our fractal noise a little smoother we're going to put the CC vector blur on top of this it's under blur and sharpen CC vector blur drag that onto our solid and set uh, the type to perpendicular and the amount to 5 it's a subtle difference but it will make the bleed look more convincing now we can close these effects up 
Now we're going to import our uh, picture or logo. So go to the project panel and take the picture. You import it and drag it into the timeline at position 2 between the fractal noise and the paper. I've turned the fractal noise layer off by clicking the little eye, otherwise you can't see your picture. Now the picture is too small for our composition, so we're going to drag it out a little to fit the composition. I'm not too disturbed by the fact that it's distorted a little. I think it still looks okay. So I'm going to leave it at that. Now we're going to put the tritone effect on this. So type in tri T color correction tritone. Drag it onto your picture layer. Okay. Now we're going to set the midtone to a color of our preference. I like purple for this one. I'm going to set it to purple, make it a little brighter and click OK. Now we're going to crush the colors a little. So we need the levels effect for that. It's also under color correction levels. Right here. Drag this onto the picture layer also. And here it is. Now underneath this histogram there are three little arrows. You can see them here. Drag the outer ones in to crush the colors. This looks about right to me. Now we're going to send the, set the blending mode of our portrait layer, the picture layer, to multiply. It's right up here. Now you can see the paper texture is coming through already. And set the track mat to luma mat fractal noise. And now the opaqueness of our picture layer is being determined by the fractal noise. So you can see here is our ink bleed. Now we're going to pre-compose these two layers, the fractal noise and the portrait layer. So click one and then shift click the other to select them both. Go to layer, right at the bottom here, pre-compose, move all attributes. We're going to call this our picture reveal and click OK. Now set the blending mode for this layer to something of your preference. I like a classic color burn for this. And type T for opacity and lower the opacity a little to say 80%. And now if we do a RAM preview, okay here's the final RAM preview. I I put the rough and edges effect on it to make it look a little bit more convincing. You can see here the settings I used. The edge type is roughen as default and border is set at 48.6 and I've changed the scale to 89. And I think we've made a pretty convincing ink bleed. That concludes this tutorial. I hope you like it and if you did please subscribe to my channel. There's more After Effects tutorials to come in the near future. Thank you for watching.